The Aztecs basketball team tipping off their season on Monday night against Cal State Fullerton and joining us now Senior guard, senior guard, eh? How about that? <laughs> Lamont Butler in the house. Lamont, good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Great to see you as well. Appreciate how that, you. How does that sound? Senior. You're a senior. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. I was just talking to, you know, Agueca Rote, who's our coach now, yeah. that, you know, it's crazy that, you know, I'm a senior now when I came in and I was a freshman, you know, just trying to try my best to, to get out that? there on the court. But you know, now I'm a senior, I'm ready to go. Funny you brought that up. I wasn't going to talk about it, but like, how is a rope as a coach? I mean, it's weird to, like, you play with the guy, and then all of a sudden, now he's, you're like, no, get down and give me 10 push-ups or something. Like, do you listen to the guy? I mean, how does that relationship change? Of course. I mean, uh, that's my guy. You know, yeah. I love him to death, but, uh, you know, he's always been a leader for us, so um, he just kind of still in that leadership role, and, you know, it was an easy adjustment. Not you guys had the exhibition against Cal State San Marcos, 81-50. I mean, you know, it's an exhibition game, and... Uh, do you kind of see things you need to work on before you start the real regular season in a game like that? Does it actually help you guys? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. You know, there's some things that, you know, we can clean up from the game, some things we did really good. So, you know, it's definitely a, you know, a learning experience. It's great to get out there in front of the fans. And, you know, it's great for our new guys who haven't, you know, experienced yeah. the atmosphere yeah. of, you know, Vieja. So, uh, you know, we have really They don't fun. know what they're in for, man. They yeah. don't know. <laughs> uh, listen, last year, uh, a magical run. You know this, to all the way to the championship game. Uh, that 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 comes with now expectations yep. in the new season, right? Uh, do you feel the pressure? Do you feel these expectations from not just the alumni and the fans, but just pretty much everybody is expecting you guys to get back there? Yeah, I mean the expectation is risen. Uh, you know, we we accept that. You know, that's that it comes with the territory. You know what we did. Um, everybody expects us to do that again, and you know yeah. we we embrace that. You know, we we love it. We love the. Uh, you know, the, the pressure and stuff like that. So we're going to go out there every day and, you know, try to win. What does Coach Dutch tell you about that, to how to approach it mentally uh, as athletes? Because you, you got to take one game at a time. you got to focus on just the regular basketball, mm -hmm. but then that's always in the – how does Coach help with that? You know, he tells us that, you know, what we did last year was great, but, you know, what we did last year is not going to help us this yeah. year. We have yeah. to, you know, go in with a new mindset, going in it with a – we're going to win every possession, every game, and, you know, throughout the whole year, you know, try to go undefeated and, you know, just keep trying to win. A lot of times when you, when you make a magical run like that, everybody talks about the chemistry, the chemistry of the team. Mm -hmm. You mentioned, you know, we lost some seniors. You mentioned that you got some young guys on there. How do you kind of recreate that chemistry to make that other run? How, how does that work? You guys go out to eat together. You hang out. I mean, what, how do you do that? Yeah, definitely the off-the-court stuff. You know, yeah. we're always together. Um, you know, even after practice, like we're in the locker room for about 30 minutes to an hour just, you know, talking to each other and, you know, having fun. And, uh, you know, it, you know, just all comes with you know the bond that we sure. that we go off the court. That's going to help us on the okay. court. So Monday, first regular season game, you're playing Fullerton. Uh, how do you guys prep for ga games like that, especially the first regular season? Um, you know, um, Fullerton's a good team, so we have to go out there with a you know with an open mind. Uh, we, we watch a lot of film, you know, practice on you know the things that we need to get better at. But I mean, I really think the focus will be ourselves. Um, yeah. You know, uh, our our toughest opponent is ourselves. So. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we take care of that, we'll be fine. Since March, what kind of dreams have you had? Do you replay that shot? <laughs> I mean, because, listen, I didn't do it, and I have dreams about that shot. Uh, have you had dreams about this moment and replayed it in your head over and over? Like, what is that like to be the guy who did the shot that every kid dreams of? I mean, it's hard to not see it. You know, I go on Twitter a lot of times, and I see it, like, every day yeah. or Instagram or something like that. But, you know, it's definitely an amazing moment. Um, you know, something that everyone's going to remember for, you know, a long time. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, I definitely, definitely grateful that I was in that position. Yeah. Man, I got anxiety, so I'd be having that dream <laughs> where I missed it and I clanked it. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> do you ever have those dreams? <laughs> Is that just me? Because like, oh, no. Then you wake up and like, oh, I did make the shot. Yeah, no, nah, I never had the one where that's, I missed it. Man. That's, that's the man right there. That's why you're the dude. Uh, let's talk about your foundation. This is great. Uh, how can people help out? Your foundation. Yeah, Butler did the foundation, you know, definitely trying to help, you know, underprivileged kids. Yeah. Um, you know, something that me and my family are doing, you know, to, to start something that's a great cause. Um, you know, we can donate at the Butler did the foundation dot com. Um, it's linked on my Instagram at Lamont.butler1 and uh, you know, definitely would be grateful uh, for anyone who's willing to donate. It's awesome. You know, um, last time you were here I showed you my uh, one of my shots which I don't have very good form. I want to show you this, because my daughter plays basketball in middle school. They just won back-to-back -back middle school champions, oh, championships man. in San Diego. That's so amazing. now this is the part where, watch her on the far left, on the far left, she's getting into position. This is almost where you took your shot. Watch this form, watch this shot. 
Ow! <laughs> Lamont Butler. That's great. Analyze that. Isn't that like a hundred times better than what I showed you when I did it? But oh no, for sure. What do you think of that form, that shot, everything else, the follow through? Yeah, no, nah, it looked great. She definitely, you know, looked Getting like she's been working on it. Definitely I like told her you almost it. stepped out of bounds. You see that left? <laughs> Got to be careful where you're on the court. Uh, listen, uh, we're happy to have you here. Uh, I text Coach Dutch. I was like, why does he not want to come on here? It's like, is he scared of me? You think I'm going to ask him some sort of math questions or it's something? He's a busy man, right there. He's it's a busy, busy man. man. You're a busy man. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, for more information on the Butler Did It Foundation, go to fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene on tab. Also, where's your dad? Your dad's in the green room. Oh no, my dad, here? he's back home. He got work this oh, morning. Oh, he has so. work, because last time he was here. He right? was here last time, yeah, but Listen, well, that we was the summer. Do you have like an entourage? You just come by yourself? I just pulled up by myself. Get out today. of here, look yeah. at you. That's the guy right there. Uh, what, what sneakers are you wearing today? That's oh 11, my goodness. Want to put those up? Like, put me and Joe Coy do. Let's go. Come on, Lamont. Eh? Got so, the 11s on today. You know, you got the 11s on. Got to have the Jordans on, man. Oh, man. Of course. Yeah, we, <laughs> the sneaker game is strong with this one, Lamont. Yes, thank sir. you. Have a great season. We'll be cheering you on. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate you. It.